will be the individual left standing after four matches this evening. And your referee for all four of those votes, PWA Hall of Famer, Mike the Fitz Fitzpatrick. Great to see the Fitz back again. Now this match is gonna have a lot of moving parts and a lot of action, so I uh, need a little bit of help with this, so I'm, so I'm gonna draft my partner in crime on the Thursday night Grayling shows, Dash in the Park. Dash, we're gonna crown a new number one contender right now. Happy to be here, buddy. Friday night, I feel like I've been called up to the big show. This is like the NHL, if I'm gonna use a hockey reference, and buddy, thank you for the opportunity. Let's do this. So for those of you who may be unfamiliar with how a gauntlet match works, very simple, we start off with two competitors in the ring. Once a victory, a pinfall or submission or disqualification occurs, that person who is defeated will leave. The winner stays and faces another challenger until we get to the last person standing and that person will compete for the LPW Grand Championship at Rogers Place on January 21st of the Oil Rumble. So the draw in this match, very, very important. Stephen Crow, unfortunately, drawing the short straw coming out first. Your second contender. Let's see who the unlucky number two is. Oh, it's about to get all thick up in here. Oh, this guy. I told you last night, and I'll say it again, but in a minute. You know what, Boris? I told you last night, and I'll tell you again. Four things guaranteed in a match with Reed Matthews. You know what they are? Tell me. Tell me what they are. One more time. Violence, 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 and thickness. So these two gentlemen drawing the short straws, and you have to think in the back of the head of Reed Matthews, unable to help Zoe Sager remain LPW Grand Champion. And now he has a shot to become number one contender. Last night we saw Stephen Crow become the first champion of salvation. Wearing that gold to the ring for the first time. Tremendous match against Whoa. his rider by compadre Taryn from accounting. Stephen Crow charging through the ropes with the dive, takes out. This escalated quickly, Boris. Hey, number one contendership on the line. I told you, this building, this night, this event feels a little bit different. No done messing around. Let's go. Back inside the ring. You got to think Stephen Crow going high risk because you want to get that first win as soon as possible because you got to win multiple times if you're going to become number one contender. Stephen Crow charging in again. Thickness got the boots up. Got caught by the Rhinestone Cowboy. Draped across that middle rope. That spells bad news for the thickness. Steven Crow likes to put on a show for this crowd sometimes, but he is no joke when it comes to striking, wrestling, and honestly, just straight up heart and tenacity on this guy. Cut in half with that spear, and you have to think, Reed Matthews, that same mindset, trying to get this one over as quick as possible. Two count only says... My good friend, Michael Fitzpatrick. Yeah, I got friends. Fellow Hall of Famer. That's, that's fair. Hall of Fame friends, nonetheless. <laughs> Name drop. No big deal. That, or, the thickness mocking the two-stepping ability of Stephen Crow. I don't think Reed Matthews is somebody you want to be dancing around with in the ring. That's somebody to take seriously.
trying to get Stephen Crow out of the corner. The thickness, Reed Matthews not afraid to skirt the line of the rules. We can assume Reed's moral support is strategizing in the back for her match. Stephen Crow firing in from underneath. And that's going to be a doozy tonight. Scooped up. Sat out with that slam, hooking the leg. Stephen Crow still alive in this first section, this first match of this gauntlet to determine who's going to the big show for the big belt. When might we see Zoe? When might we see Michael Allen, Richard Clark? Who knows? It's all about the luck of the draw. Yep. What happens if Reed Matthews gets this pin and uh, Zoe walks out next? It's a very realistic possibility, and I wonder if the two of them had discussions about this. But right now, Reed Matthews solely focused on the destruction of the Rhinestone Cowboy, Stephen Crow. I would guess Zoe had a discussion about it. I'm not sure about Reed. Not sure if that contract null and void after the title escaped the grasp of Zoe Sager last month. Reed Matthews slowing that pace down, very deliberate in all of his motions. Stephen Crow creating some space. Went for the pump kick, but got caught. And that is the seismic toss. Is it going to be enough to put away the Rhinestone Cowboy? That shifted the ring two inches to the northwest. Now just raining down. Open-handed shots. A plethora of forearms and elbows aimed at the skull of Stephen Crow. Aimed and landed, Boris. Again, the Fitz admonishing Reed Matthews. He don't give a damn. He is solely focused on the task at hand. Stephen Crow up to his feet. Into the fireman's carry position. It could be bye-bye Cowboy indeed. Sunset flip, shoulders down. Reed able to get up, but able to avoid the world folding him up again. And again, escaped quick. Pump kick got him caught again. Might have been looking for that blue thunder bomb. Stephen Crow able to counter. Rolling through, shoulders down again. The game plan of Stephen Crow appears to be what did he do to his face, Boris? Go for a lot of covers and pump kick his face off his face. Roaring elbow ducked by the Rhinestone Cowboy. Body scissors, shoulders down. Just two. And two's getting deep. Oh, right in the knees yeah, and shin area. Yeah, kicked the pins up from underneath the neck. Yes, but he fired back with that baseball-like forearm. Baseball bat-like forearm. I was kidding. You know just, what I mean. You know. Listen to what I mean, not what I say. You took it off the tip of my tongue, I think. Felt like a baseball bat, I'm sure. Up my again man, into that fireman's carry once again. Nice head scissor takeover, folded him up. That's it. That's Stephen it. Crow. <laughs> Stephen Crow. Wow. Reed Matthews night is done and sure enough he would have faced Zoe Sager if he came out on the winning end nonetheless here comes the former champ and she's got words for Reed Matthews as I prelated to earlier Boris I'm gonna guess sometimes those conversations are a little one-sided just saying and now Stephen Crow has to face a very fresh former LPW Grand Champion. He better turn around. Who is perched atop the rec room and hit that shotgun drop kick. And you know she's itching to get to the front of the line again for another shot at what she believes is rightfully hers. She had that shotgun preloaded, Boris. And if you thought Zoe Sager was focused and dangerous and unlikable as champ, she might be even worse as challenger. 
she switched her arsenal to a sniper rifle. She was driving those straight into the nose of Stephen Crow. And if you remember from last night, that's that same nose that was dripping blood. Yes, Stephen Crow had a rough night in becoming the first ever champion of salvation. Still s pulling splinters out of his hands. Sager with words for Crow and everybody in this building. So she was going to charge the ropes but got caught by the rhinestone. Cowboy now up in that fireman's carry, landing on her feet. Cowboy had the hair there, oh, maybe. Another elbow into that nose area. I think she did her homework. That doesn't look <laughs> with authority. I mean, it's it's a, it's called a bitch slap because that's what it was. <laughs> it's not accidental. <laughs> Back up onto the shoulders of Crow. Ooh. Down across the knee. She feel that. And that's going to level the playing field just a little bit. But Stephen Crow a little worse for wear. After a hellacious battle with Reed Matthews. Let's not forget, Stephen Crow was put through a table last night. Crow up to his feet. Sager charging in, but caught the elbow. And remember, Zoe had her nose broken a couple of months ago as well. GG Ray. Up on the middle row. Hit the leaping knee. Stephen Crow is feeling it. So is this crowd. Oh. Series of kicks. Able to duck the clothesline. And face first into the canvas goes the former champ. Showing some tenacity and resilience here. Charging the ropes and hit that hard clothesline oh. on the back of the head. And Stephen Crow, this looks like it might be his night. Double underhook into that backbreaker. Is that going to be enough to put her away? Not quite enough. Zoe unwilling to give up at this point. One of the most tenacious in-ring competitors I've seen in my two decades. Stephen Crow looking to go back to work, gotta keep his foot on the gas pedal. He might be looking for some sort of fisherman suplex. Zoe trying to keep that center of gravity low, trying to keep that right knee down on the canvas. Able to counter, folded him up, oh. got a handful of tights. Not able to get it done though. Oh my God, that wow. scorpion kick Where right that, into that nose. Where did that come from? Oh. STO from Sager. That's got to be it. The leg. Here it is. That's three. And now the tenacity of Stephen Crow in full display. No freebies out there in this ring tonight, Boris. Yeah, if you're going to become number one contender and get that title shot on the big stage, you're damn well going to earn it. Pay your dues to the dirt. Stephen Crow having trouble getting vertical. Zoe Sager biding her time, picking her spot. We've seen this. Charging the corner, kicking his face off of his face. A lot of faces being kicked off tonight. And I love it. Let's go. Confidence building in Zoe Sager. Firing off, attempting to fire off the Ronstone Cowboy. Bringing off that bottom rope, creating space, charging in. So smooth. Sager now up on the shoulders is the Rhinestone Cowboy holding on to that middle rope. So he's trying to walk out oh. into that Poison Rana. And he hit it. These two are quite simply two of the best that do what they do at Love Pro Wrestling. South Common Edmonton Rec Room fans. Getting behind Stephen Crow. He is fired up. So are they. Up to that middle rope. That extra little bit of time psyching himself up. Caught him, and that was an ugly fall down to the canvas. Precarious to say the least. And you have to remember, he has already had one match. Took out the thickness, which is not an easy task. And went through a table last night. If I was Zoe, I'd have a little less bark and a little more bite here. Charging in 
That uh, knee. C'est la vie. Yeah, that knee right across the face. Stephen Crow's eyes looking a little glassy. Rolling him away from the ropes, That's going for the it. cover. What has she got to do to finish this guy? Using that lower body to get the upper body off the canvas. Zoe coming a little bit unglued, she's, as she's known to do. <laughs> she's throwing everything at him. I've seen Zoe throw a fit or two. Stephen Crow up to his feet. Zoe Sager waiting, not so patiently. Looking for that Z-factor. Got wrist control. Fired in that forearm and now exchanging shots. Neither willing to let go of their grip. Forearm after forearm exchange. How are these two still standing? Firing in shots. Crow going to the kick game. Uh -uh. Caught that foot coming in. Once, not twice. Using gravity and momentum to pull the legs out from under. Crow hit the canvas face first hard. But Steve. Back to his feet though. If I'm Stephen Crow, I don't like that look on Zoe's face right now. What's this? Show of strength, putting Crow back. We've seen this before. Cross in the arms what with the move. bridge. Shoulders down. That should have been it. Able to power out. Back bridge pinning attempt. Impressive. I think Zoe might be skirting the line of sanity right now. Handfuls of hair, much to the chagrin of the Fitz. What's a chagrin? I don't know. I don't know if I have one or not. Lost years a long time ago. Again, Zoe looking for that Z factor, unsuccessful, rolling through. Reversal. Able to counter that pin with a pinfall of her own. Inside cradle from the former champ. Rolling through, reversing it, and oh. Stephen Crow just pins Zoe Singer to the mat for the three count. He did it again. He did it again. He looks. He looks shocked. He looks shocked, Boris. He doesn't even know where he is. Stephen Crow, two up, two down. Zoe's out, and the returning Michael Allen, Richard Clark is in. Cowboy's memory is muddy. What's this river that he's in? Now, to my knowledge, this is our final competitor. Oh. I heard Spencer mention four matchups to win this gauntlet. But to my knowledge, this is the final competitor. And whoever comes out on top of this is going to Roger's place to fight for the title. Michael Allen, Richard Clark. Fortune smiled upon him with that draw. And he's taking on somebody who's also, who's already been through two violent physical matches. Clark fresh as a daisy, dropping down. Nice leapfrog, leaping back elbow, vintage Clark. And he's gotta be full of all kinds of confidence going into this. Power slam right in the middle of the ring and he's gonna look to pick the bones of Stephen Crow. He's getting right down to business. You want push-ups? You like push-ups? Push we might be seeing some push-ups right now. Stephen Crow does not want push-ups. Uh -uh. Able to escape that situation and try to string together a little bit of offense. Springing off that middle Ooh. rope with that flying head scissors sent Clark across the ring. I gotta hand it to the cowboy. I don't know where he's coming up with this. I mean, this is an amazing showing. Ooh, man, beautiful DDT might be enough. Especially after what he went through last night oh. to win that championship of salvation. Just oozing moxie tonight. One of the biggest roles of his young career. Michael Allen, Richard Clark stumbling to the corner into the clutches of the Rhinestone Cowboy. Looking to fire him off. Ah, 
back elbow on target. And you have to think the body might be weak, but the confidence of Stephen Crow might be at an all-time high. Funny thing about momentum. I don't want to see any push-ups. I came here to watch wrestling. You just hate fun. You know what? I don't hate fun. I don't need shenanigans. Stephen Crow looking to keep the pressure on. Again, we will see that LPW Grand Championship defended in our main event. Lumberjack Larry going to make that first defense mm -hmm. against Clandestine Society member Michael Richard Blaze. I've heard of him. God's gift to wrestling, they say. That's what I'm told. Should be a hell of a main event. Winner of that going in, as you said, to the Oil Rumble. LPW 22, Rogers Place. Stephen Crow, you can see the wheels turning in the head. Sticking with what's been successful this far. Clark fighting up. Trying to get back to his feet, using that top rope to get back. Oh, oh that elbow was on target, as was that foot. We want push -ups. We want Stephen Crow, the cardio. Maybe starting to fail. Vertical leap unparalleled from Michael Allen Richard Clark. Scooping up Crow. And again, another power slam. High impact offense. Are we seeing blood in the nose? From the longest reigning PWA champion. I would not doubt if Stephen Crow has broken that nose tonight. The fans want the push ups. And you got to think. Does Clark want push-ups, or does he want to be number one contender? I'd be worried about pinning Stephen Crow. That's what I'd be worried about. Well, well we're going to get the push-ups after all. It's multitasking, I guess, isn't That's it? That's a lot of push-ups. That's more push-ups than I've done my whole life. You and me both. Clark doesn't call them push-ups. He calls them earth downs. Crow back up to his feet. Clark more than happy to try to put him down up on the shoulders, able to wriggle free and get down to the canvas. Hit that tornado DDT out of nowhere. Scampering over to keep the pressure on. Double underhook might be looking for that backbreaker. Having trouble getting him up. Take two. Power bomb. Ooh, almost snuck away with it there. And now the frustration might be sinking in. He's emptied the arsenal. He's given everything he's got. You don't want to come this far. It's like getting a game seven of the Stanley Cup final and losing. That's right. You want to pull out every tool you got. You don't want to leave anything on the table. Pull out all the shots, win at any cost. Clark making his way back up to his feet, assisted by that top rope. He's in his sights. Stephen Crow locked the target on, went for those knees. Clark sidestepped, springing off that middle moon rope salt. with that moonsault. Look at the height there. That's a big man. Fireman's carry up on the shoulders. Uh, able again to escape. Caught that pump kick coming in. Yep. Spinning around, going behind is the Rhinestone Cowboy. Using his own momentum against him, sending him down to the floor. What a match. What a match. And we've seen this. If you've seen Michael Allen, Richard Clark, you've seen this deadlift vertical suplex. Smoother than some chocolate cake and a protein shake. He ends this. It's over. Boys. He's going to muscle him over. That's it. That's it. Beautifully done. Show he of can't power. Get up from this. He can't get up from that. How is he on his feet? He's right back up he to his is feet. Running on instincts here, Boris. That's got to be muscle memory. You don't stand up from that. Just planted in the middle of the ring. And Michael yes. Allen Richard Clark gets the victory.
unbelievable. Unbelievable. I mean, Stephen Crow put up an absolutely hellacious fight. But the night belongs to Michael Allen, Richard Clark, as Taryn from Accounting coming to console her ride or die teammate, Dash. Thanks for doing this one with me. Thank you, brother. We will see you next month. You damn right. Taryn from Accounting. In the middle of the ring.